I've been meaning to do this, but now I finally got a chance. Let's take a look at this brand new Doyle Field. What isn't brand new is the clubhouse. And that's the home team's clubhouse. And that one over there is the visiting team slash girls room. And for added effect, they made a new tunnel. Let's go through the tunnel. This is a pretty nice entry. One thing you'll notice right here, especially if you're old school, the scoreboard isn't here. That's because the scoreboard is now over there. Let's zoom in on it. We'll get a better look at it as we come along. Here are the bleachers. These are built into the hill, so there's no actual structure. Let's go up. I like these granite steps. And it goes right to the top of the actual hill. And there's the clubhouse again. And you got these nice diamond pattern walks. And that building right there is the press box. And while we're here, here's the new field with new goal post, which were installed last year. That over there is a concession stand and bathrooms. Over there is a press box. And that's the Lemonster side right there. This would be the visitor side. And there you have that view. Now, as we go down the steps, this field is that artificial stuff. Let's take a closer look at it. We are going to honor the ropes by not really going past it too much. And here's a great for the water. As you can see, it looks almost looks like real grass, but you can't, you can't pull it up, you can't mow it. In fact, if you can see, it's all one giant sheet, or possibly multiple layers, I'm sure. So that's the field on this side, and just like over there, on this side, we have the concession stand slash restrooms. And there is a closer look at the scoreboard, but let's go up the steps here. Each side has its own concession stand, which was not the case last time. Before the renovations, there was only one stand, and it was where the, that newer one is. And over here, I believe, are the restrooms. That's the women's. They could use a sign. On that building over there, the women's and men's are on the same side. And over here should be the men's. And we probably can't get a look, which will be fine with me. Yeah, that's closed. Alrighty. So you see the walkways have nice pavers. We're going to cheat and go down the little hill. Probably break my neck in the process because 
This grass is very slippery. Now we're going down a 40 degree embankment. Here's the goalpost up close and personal. As you can see, the new ones are significantly taller. And the support pillar is in the center and recessed back. There's the scoreboard. It's really hard to get because these uh, soccer goals are in the way. Here we go. And of course the center building there is the main press box. I say they've really done a nice job with this field. There's just some things that it needs work. Okay, the following is prohibited. Pause if you want to read that. Three, two, one, go. And again, three, two, one, go. So right over there in the center, where the, on that hill where the, roughly where the goal post is, was supposed to be a pavilion, which the new locker rooms would be located, as well as an enclosed performing center. So bands and other local things could be held inside. And we'll go up these center stairs because we can't cross the ropes, although I still like this artificial turf. If you look really close, you can see that it's fake. You can see that this is just some rubbery compound, loose granular on a substrate. And we'll go up to the very top to finish this off with the Lemonster Blue Devils logo, which is really hard to see from here. This hill that this tunnel is made for did not exist. It was a minimal grade from the field to the top of the driveway over there. Where you can see where it's obviously been patched in. The hill never existed. So because I think this is really neat, let's go through the tunnel again and show you the new ticket booths, which have been up for a couple of years. But it's part of the field. And I'm surprised they actually had it open so I could actually show it to you. Now for the true end all here. The only openings that you can access while there's a football game is here and a similar one down there. You can probably see a small brick building right there. These are the new ticket booths. They've been around for a couple of years. That's where you get your tickets. The old one used to be way down there. And that's finally a look at the new field. Here it is once again. And I hope you enjoyed it.